unfortunately, this has been a tragic night. We do have 120 people now accounted for, which is very, very good news. Uh, but our unaccounted for number has gone up to 159. In addition, we can tragically report the death count is now four. I want to be very clear about the numbers. Uh, they're very fluid. Uh, we'll continue to update you as, as we have them, but we have confirmed four deaths. The search and rescue team worked throughout the night, and uh, it was a very active scene from above and below. And uh, we also brought heavy machinery onto the site to assist with the operation. And so we are very, very grateful that our president has now authorized FEMA support and we're joined here today by our FEMA representative who can tell you more. Uh, and, uh, and that is going to assist us in our recovery efforts as well to assist the, the families. We have the resources for the families at the Family Reunification Center. We've been actively uh, providing them everything that they need, food, shelter, uh, cash to assist with uh, the, their basic needs and grief counseling obviously a very critical component as we move forward, as people are anxiously waiting for news of their loved ones. Uh, at this time, we have received uh, all of the uh, donations of goods and uh, volunteers that we can handle at this time. Uh, we're very, very grateful for everyone who has contributed, and we will let people know as the need uh, presents. Uh, but we do have two funding sites available for cash donations. Support surfside.org and chesed, C-H-E-S-E-D, two sites that are receiving donations. So as we work tirelessly and stand united, local, municipal, county, state, and now federal support, uh, we are going to uh, work as hard as we can to continue our search and rescue effort. That is our priority. That is where we're focused and protecting our first responders who are on the scene. So thank you everyone. God bless. Y ahora en